but I am so excited to get back to Orange Theory. Seriously, I just get so stuck in my ways. Let's expose myself a little bit more. For now, I wanna just focus on my nutrition coaching because I know that's really what I'm passionate about. What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day so far. Happy that you're here on this video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure to do so. Give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful, entertaining at any point because it also supports my channel. Otherwise, let's get into this video. I wanna talk about my favorite staple items that help me maintain a lower weight. So guys, my apartment is coming along. A studio is good enough for me, honestly. If you guys have seen my other videos, we have amenities, lounges, so there's just other things to do outside of being in this room. And I also live in a part of the city where I can walk out of my building and go do things. Like the other day, I actually ran across the Ben Franklin Bridge. I ran 1.3 miles there, kept going and ran over it, and then I did walk back only because I just wanted to enjoy the view. It was so beautiful. If you guys have me on Instagram, you saw me posting on my story about that. I can't wait to be doing that on the regular. Like, it was not hard to get there at all, and it was such a breathtaking view. I've actually always wanted to do it, but I just never, like, got around to it because, like, I didn't want to have to drive my car to the city to park to go run over a bridge. Staples right here are turkey bacon zucchini french fries, cooked shrimp that's already shell off, tail off, turkey burgers, and I normally have frozen pizzas here. Going into my fridge and exposing myself, but I wanna show you the queen. I love to dump this whole bag into a bowl and then I just add in a bunch of other things. It already comes with dressing and croutons. So if you add in everything, it's like under 300 calories for this bag. And then you can add in tomatoes, onions, bell peppers. I personally like to just add in cherry tomatoes because it's easy, but you guys can really judge these up. I also like to put in some spinach. Another thing we got going on is egg whites. You can add these to so many things to add more protein and just volumize them. And when you guys are eating more protein, you feel satiated longer. Okay, spray butter. If you're using regular butter, just stop. You don't need it in your life. It's so much fat. This is a better option. It's zero calories. <laughs> All right, guys, it's not zero calories, but still, it's like 35 calories by the time I'm done spraying it out. Unsweetened vanilla almond milk. This is major key because when you mix this with your protein powder, it's gonna taste just so delicious and good. On average, that's like what you'll see in my fridge. I don't like to keep things in there that I shouldn't have because then I won't eat them, you know what I mean? I really keep it embarrassingly basic, but I wanna get better at eating more things. Seriously, I just get so stuck in my ways. Let's expose myself a little bit more. So these I have not bought in years, but I need potassium because I've been cramping, so. I'm now eating bananas and they're really good. And the reason I actually used to never buy bananas for the longest time is because where I work, we had free unlimited bananas all the time. So if I had a banana, like it was from my job, it was like a known thing, like <laughs> so many bananas. Like I would, it would be a sin for me to buy bananas with the amount that we would get for free at my other job. Tuna, major key alert. It's just high in protein and tastes really good. Cherry tomatoes, cause I like to put them on my salads. I just got avocados, I go through my phases of getting them, but I love having these with some bread. And then we also have my buns that I eat with my turkey burgers sometimes. And also comment down below what you guys think of gummies. I would love to know. I do take these, but it is also important to eat actual vegetables and fruits like apples. Apples literally have so many nutrients Okay, that's legit. Okay, oh gosh, guys, I actually wanna hire someone to like help me organize my stuff. So let's check out some more staples we got. We've got some crystal light because this is zero calories also, but it, it, it's not actually zero calories, but like, it's way less calories than anything else. Well, maybe it is zero, I don't know. Nothing is actually zero calories, guys, but it's just practically zero calories. Another staple is my beat up maple brown sugar box. Okay. I have to get the low sugar one. 
because I'm just, that's just how I am. Another staple is a scent protein powder, except this is not the chocolate peanut butter flavor, but I kind of assumed you knew that I moved. I moved on July 7th and it is July 19th. So I've only been here two weeks. I have managed to stay on track with my workouts because there is a gym that's right below me, but I am so excited to get back to Orange Theory. It's been so long, like literally weeks, like three weeks maybe, because with my move, things have been so hectic. Like I didn't have time to commit to anything between managing my clients, getting videos up, editing them, and all the other responsibilities I've had to do during my move, I just, didn't have time to do like an orange theory class because when I do go to orange theory you guys know I like to vlog it Make it a good quality video and I just did not feel like Vlogging my workout and I'm trying to cut back on the amount of like orange theory vlogging anyways because I feel like it's been Annoying to me like it's been making me feel like I want to go do my workout But like I don't feel like propping up my camera and doing all that stuff because I'm trying to focus on getting a good workout in so I'm still going to like incorporate it into like my vlogs because that's what I do sometimes, but um, it's not going to continue to be like my main focus of everything. I am gonna be doing a lot of Lift 45s though because now that I moved, I can go to Cherry Hill, New Jersey and they have so many Lift 45s and I love Cherry Hill, New Jersey. I'm so glad that I have a studio near me that I like enjoy and like to film at. It's gonna be great. Also, I quit working at Pitt because it wasn't working for me anymore in my schedule. And I also really just wanna focus on my nutrition coaching. That's what I'm passionate about. That's what I feel like I know a lot about. And it's natural for me to wanna to help people with that. When it comes to coaching people as far as exercising, I love to motivate and inspire other people to get their workouts in and stay on track. But at this point in my life, I'm still trying to build my own knowledge as far as like muscles and things of that nature. So I don't know if I'll ever revisit being a personal trainer or coaching classes like that again in the future because it was fun. It just doesn't work with my schedule and other things that I'm trying to focus on right now. Like I'm getting signed up for a nutrition certification course so then I can just learn more and better myself in the avenue of the industry that I want to be in, which is my If It Fits Your Macros coaching business. So that is what's going on with all of that. And also, if you guys follow on Instagram, you know I was very vocal about how I would get personal trained there a lot. With moving and this, that, it's just not gonna work out the same. So I'm actually gonna be finishing up my personal training packet with one of the other trainers, Audrey. She's great, it's gonna be awesome. But the way it works there is you purchase your pack and then you do all your classes. So it's not like I can just like get my money back and I don't want my money back. I'd like to get my sessions in. But after that, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. Who's to say? that I won't come back and get personal trained again, whether it's with Pitt or another person. I just have other things in my life that I wanna focus on and we can be really caught up on doing things for other people. Not only do we wanna do it for them, but they end up being more important to other people than they actually end up being to us. And it's important to recognize that, but sometimes you don't realize that in the beginning and sometimes you just need trial and error of seeing what works for you and what doesn't work for you to figure that out. So for now, I want to just focus on my nutrition coaching because I know that's really what I'm passionate about. And I don't know where this video is going. It all started with how I wanted to share with you guys some staples because I noticed as I've been moving the last couple of days or last couple of weeks that when it comes to what food I have on hand, I have my staples and I was like, you know what? I should share my staples. It's interesting to see over time how things change. If you guys watch my vlogs, you probably aren't shocked by any of these, but maybe you found it helpful or insightful. So this is a little update video along with sharing my staples. So I hope you guys found it entertaining, insightful, or helpful. If you did, go and give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And don't forget to subscribe to never miss another Fitty Freckles video again. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I will see you guys in my next video because I have to fix my finger. The entire nail got ripped off. Some may say that's my own fault for wearing acrylics, but I was just walking and hit my hand on the wall by accident. And just like the whole nail, just, just yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's very crazy. So hopefully I can update you guys after that, but I am back to vlogging on Wednesday. 
So stay tuned for that video. I'll show you guys my new nails and let you know what happened. I don't even know if I have to go to the doctor for this, but that's what I'm dealing with. Either way, it's gonna be okay. I just wanted to let you guys know, if you have acrylics, be careful, because beauty is pain. I love my nails, but they can be very dangerous. They just look so pretty when they are done. So I'll update you guys in my next vlog. I'm excited to be back to vlogging. I'm gonna be going to an Orange Theory fitness class. And I think it's at Cherry Hill. It's gonna be a lift 45, so stay tuned for that. If it's not a lift 45, it's it's just a regular 2G. Cause they brought the 2Gs back. Okay, I was supposed to end this video. Bye. I came a long way, 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 and I did it my way, way, way. Now I'm on my way up. Man, it's been a long day. Uh, I've been waiting for so long just to get where I belong. Yeah. Tell them who've been missing out. I'm on a mission, so listen now. Hey, I came a long way, 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 and I did it my way, way, way. Now I'm on my way up. Now it's time to pay up, and it's been a long day. Hey, I've been waiting for so long just to get where I belong. Yeah. Tell them who've been missing out. I'm on a mission, so listen. Yeah.